Hey everyone, I'm Chris Wilson and today we're going to talk about three different approaches you can take with your drawings. Now whenever you're drawing or you're about to draw, it happens now and again. You find yourself holding a blank sketchbook, eager to fill it up with new and interesting drawing ideas. You get excited when you buy new art supplies or fresh new sketchbook. Ultimately, it hits you. You have sketchbook block, the feeling of not knowing what to draw or worse, a fear of not wanting to ruin a sketchbook. In this video, I'm gonna share a variety of ways to defeat this common creative hurdle. You'll learn basic ways to bypass the drawing rut and other kind of larger ideas you can think about with your drawing. So how do you crush drawing block or sketchbook block? It's not unusual to experience drawing block creatively. All artists experience a form of creative block, but it can hit each artist differently. No worries though, defeating creative block is a learnable skill. And you have essentially two options. One, exercise and take a break from drawing. Sometimes you just need to get away from your desk or studio and just refresh your mind. And second, you can spark your mind with easy drawing ideas, challenges, drawing techniques, essentially limitations. And creative block comes in many forms. The feeling of being confused, the feeling of not knowing where to begin, the feeling of loss of creative energy or having an ability to focus. And though it might seem difficult to get over this, and if you're lacking energy and focus, you have to do what makes you feel relaxed, refreshed, and rejuvenated mentally. For when you're feeling confused and not knowing where to begin, you have a few options. Essentially, creativity and motivation flourish with restrictions and limitations. These restrictions and limitations can be fun. They come in the form of drawing prompts, drawing themes, experimenting with new approaches to drawing. The first thing that I would recommend for you if you feel like you have drawing block is to be curious. Being curious sparks creative growth. We have to keep the pulse of our curiosity going. The best way to indulge your curiosity with drawing is to dedicate time to drawing themes. When you draw a theme, you're essentially exploring with your drawings. You're no longer focused on just one or two drawings, rather, you're pursuing a flow of dozens and hundreds of drawings centered around a drawing theme, creating more work than you would normally. And a great drawing theme is personal, but it's also something you could easily fill a sketchbook with. It really depends on what your interests are. Typically, it's a subject you're interested in, but it's not something you know a lot about, which is in line with my second tip, to keep an open mind. Be visually curious about how things are made and structured. This observation first and inquisitive mindset will help you expand your mental drawing library, making you aware of details and intricacies to add to your drawings. Understand that there is no ultimate correct way of drawing something. Observe, steal from nature and things around you. Look to your surroundings for unique qualities to add to your work. Pay attention to all the details. And my third tip is to experiment. Try different drawing techniques in your sketchbook. Drawing techniques can help you fill your sketchbook easily and find your favorite way of drawing. It doesn't matter if you're using pencil, pen, pastel, or even markers. Ultimately, your drawing skills will grow if you dedicate time to exploring some of these basic drawing techniques. These drawing fundamentals are simple, but still require time to get right. So if you're feeling a creative block, just remember, you need to do something to create a spark. It's usually something simple, from following a drawing prompt, setting a limitation for yourself with your drawings, taking a public drawing challenge can help, exploring a drawing theme. So for example, you could dedicate a whole sketchbook to one drawing theme, such as drawing a flower, or drawing a specific type of animal, or just doing portraits in one sketchbook or experimenting with a new drawing technique. It's up to you, but definitely give yourself some sort of direct task or limitation and it'll help you create a spark with your drawings. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later. Thanks.